I'm Jeff Hunkin and welcome to my world. So if I had MJ, Bruno Mars and Wanya from Boys to Men standing next to me in the Ultimate Barbershop Quartet, I think that'd be unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> I sing tenor in the 2014 International Barbershop Quartet Champs musical Iron Boys. I don't need no money, And uh, I'm also the host of the brand new TV show, uh, The Naked Choir. Good evening and welcome to this festival of a cappella acrobatics. I think it's awesome to have a uh, Pacific Islander hosting the show. Come on, we're going to bring it home now. For it to continue to be normalised for our people to achieve at, at this kind of level. And so if I can be a part of that and help perpetuate success for our Pacific Islanders and also to, to, to showcase some of the wonderful, wonderful talents we have in this country, what a great thing to be a part of. I was dreaming of bigger things and want to leave my old life behind. I grew up in Tower, born and raised here and uh, been here all my life. So uh, tried and true uh, Wellingtonian. I got my start in singing uh, like I reckon a lot of Pacific Islanders did, which is in the home uh, and at church. My favourite song singing with my dad is probably one that uh, he wrote, which was called Palusami. The Musical Island Boys Quartet came about uh, way back in 2002 and uh, one day we're in the music room the music teacher just asked us if we'd like to do this thing called barbershop singing and of course, you know, we, we didn't know what it was. But when we uh, stood around the piano and sang our first couple of chords together as, a, as the Island Boys, uh, you know, it's, it just hasn't stopped since. Soon you'll be sailing. Over the years, things just snowballed, and in 2014, uh, we went to Las Vegas. First place gold medal champions, Musical Island Boy! Uh, and we became the best barbershop quartet in the world that year. So the intent's behind it, yes, but in terms of the volume, let's try and keep that right back. Here we go. So our chorus vocal effects went to Nashville last year to the 2016 International Barbershop Convention. While we were on stage, we were singing a James Brown song about living in America. Anyway, one of our guys goes up and says, you know, stop, wait a minute, and then we go back. And uh, we break into a haka. It was really, really something to witness and uh, an amazing thing to be a part of. We came sixth uh, in the world, which is a which is a really good result. If I cross the line, no telling how far I'll boom, 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 boom. Dad life has been amazing. You know, I've said it a couple of times that people often say to you, oh, you'll know what it's like once you become a dad. And you kind of nod and say, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's the case. But when it happens, it's like, boom. Like, wow, now I get what you're talking about. And, you know, my favourite part of every single day is coming home to see my baby girl. You know, that is what, just, that's what makes the day special for me. And so it's just been such an amazing experience. I want to have more kids. Uh, hopefully my wife's okay with that. I love you, babe. I love you, Jess. And uh, so we'll see where we go on that front. But I love being a dad. It's the best thing ever.